I'm a scuba diver. Most of my diving has been in Great Lakes, Great Lakes and quarries. Donnell Hollister loves to live life to the fullest, but when prostate screenings identified high PSA levels, he began to wonder if his adventure seeking days would be sidelined. I was thinking maybe I do have cancer. As Hollister underwent more testing, his fears of being diagnosed with prostate cancer were confirmed. I was thinking the worst, okay? Um, you know, how am I, am I going to die? Doctors performed surgery to remove the prostate, but during the procedure encountered a roadblock left behind from one of Hollister's previous surgeries. He had to, basically he had to abort the surgery because of scar tissue. Then I realized that it was not a, like a good option for him because of the, uh, all the scar tissue from the previous surgery. But doctors say thanks to a newer surgical robot used by Henry Ford Hospital's urology team, Dr. Wu Ju Young could still offer Hollister a surgical option for prostate cancer treatment despite the scar tissue. The robot allowed the doctor another avenue to reach the prostate. They decide to go through the bladder. We're going to make a small incision. We can get in there and then uh, we can uh, do a procedure with uh, multiple arms. Because of this uh, technology, we were able to uh, reach to the prostate gland through the bladder, directly uh, through the bladder, and then get the surgery done. Hollister had surgery just last month. Feel great. I've returned to work. And those adventure seeking days are back. I just recently brought a kayak. I have not been able to use it. Hopefully I'll get it out tomorrow. September is Prostate Cancer Awareness Month and doctors say it's a good reminder to get that screening. Medical experts also say most prostate cancer is diagnosed in men older than age 65. If you would like to learn more about this robotic procedure to treat prostate cancer, go to fox2detroit.com. Then we are here to help them. So anytime any problem come to us, and then we'll try to meet their goals. In Detroit, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.